I am Jake Evans. I am a solutions expert at Net Documents, and I am here today to talk to you about Pattern Builder by Net Documents. Jake, I, I appreciate you being with us uh, today. I heard news this week that the Pattern Builder was was getting launched, um, and very excited to see what Net Documents has put together here. So I, I appreciate you showing me around. Um, without anything further, I guess let's let's dig in. Let's kind of get under the hood here. Love to see it. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Zach. And we're excited to show Pattern Builder uh, actually on today for us, at least the release day of Pattern Builder. So for those of you who don't know, I do just want to give a quick background on who Net Documents is. Net Documents is the cloud first, cloud only, cloud always uh, legal document management system yeah. built from the ground up for lawyers, for security. So as we walk through Pattern Builder today, you're going to see you know, our, our new automation piece, you know, a very powerful form builder, and that's all tied into the Net Documents platform that, that people are already taking advantage of, where all of your content is secure and cloud accessible uh, for you and your attorneys. So today, uh, we're going to start right here in my Net Documents workspace. Uh, for those who have seen Net Documents before, you know that this workspace, this matter file, is truly the center of gravity for everything I have with this case. Uh, of course, my documents are here. My emails pertaining to this case are here. And now you'll note there are also apps here as well. Uh, so what Net Documents has done with Pattern Builder is taken that app builder and let you build standalone apps where you can run them you know, as, as an instance outside of a matter mm -hmm. or from directly within a matter itself. Uh, in this formation instance, today we're going to take a look at uh, my new employee workflow. So you'll see a couple of things here, uh, and we'll start with the ability to run this app. So what Pattern Builder is, is an extremely powerful form builder uh, for those constant processes that you're redoing all the time, those template files that you're filling out multiple times a week. Uh, you'll have a form to simply plug in information and get a document or documents out of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so Zach, I assume some info about you here, uh, or form filler more accurately, assume some info about you here, your middle name, Dominic Patrick. Nailed it. Uh, to get your address, very real street, <laughs> right. all accurate info. Uh, we've plugged in some of that so you don't have to watch me go through it. As I fill out this form, all of this is being captured by Pattern Builder, mm -hmm. and the templates on the back end are going to have all this information. And one of the things that really sets Pattern Builder apart is how dynamic these fields can be. Mm -hmm. So we see here, we're going to set the salary. Uh, and also, do we want to give stock options? Do we want to give sales commissions? And Pattern Builder being very dynamic. So if I'm going to add stock options, or maybe in this case, just sales commission, uh, not only is my document on the back and going to change it, but so is the form. So now it's going to offer me what percentage of sales is that going to have? Uh, we're going to give them the max 5%. We really wanted to come on board here. And then as we move through that, uh, we see we hit continue and those documents are being generated in the back end. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to ask me a couple more questions. Do I need an I-9 form? Uh, do, I, do I know that Zach is bringing you know, some inventions that he has in the past? And with that, I can select that uh, and note that he does have inventions. And I love this because it highlights you know, how Pattern Builder can, can really build out that document with some loop settings. Right. So we'll fill in a little bit of info here. It's in Latin, of course. Uh, Zach, not a lot of people know this, but I do believe you invented the hoverboard, yep. uh, but it's only $77. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll continue there. And it's going to say, great. So we have the date that that was created. Uh, we have that info. Is that the only thing Zach is bringing with him? Do I need to add more? So we see this with a lot of things like beneficiary information. You may have one to a hundred beneficiaries, and after pattern and pattern builder allows you uh, to put in that information and add as much as you need to to those documents. Mm -hmm. So we'll add that second one, uh, continue, and then as we move along, now the document generation is going to begin. I, I think this is a, a spot I want to kind of highlight. Um, being able to basically put in an infinite amount of of uh inventions for for example there or of defendants 
um, an infinite amount of beneficiaries, as you're saying, that is something that is not always easy to do in a document automation um, creator or, or document automation platform. Um, so I just want to point that out that that in and of itself is a, is a um, uh, handy feature. Yes. Yeah, very much so. And we see here that we've noted the session is complete mm -hmm. and those documents have been sent to that matter file that we started at. So a big differentiator here as well is net documents when we purchased after pattern, rather than just take it and slap it on the side, we from the ground up took after pattern and turned it into pattern builder where it lives in that workspace. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do any tricks. I don't have to jump through any hoops. It's going to save all that to net documents uh, since it is now all under the net documents umbrella. So I can click that employment offer. It's going to take me directly to that document in net documents, mm -hmm. or I can just go back to my matter file. Uh, when we return to that documents tab, uh, we're going to see that under the agreements, we now have you know, three new items. And I can take a look at these. I can open them, my PDF software in Word, or just get a quick preview here in that document. So it, of course, captures all the information. That document is profiled. If I ever need to search for this down the road, and then we'll pop open this full view to get a good look at it. Uh, it also now has all that information we input. Uh, it notes that this is for, of course, my McMillan client, the workspace we ran this out of, mm -hmm. uh, as well as all that information that we captured. So let's take a look at that offer letter to Zach. Uh, in that full view here, we're going to see that, of course, uh, you know, it, it's captured his name to Zach, and then it's got all of that information, that 200K salary that we're offering, that 5% sales commission. And we see those stock options that uh, we took off the table in negotiations aren't listed in this at all. Mm -hmm. So it is not only dynamic in your form building, but also your document building. Perfect. And a huge benefit that we really haven't hit on is Pattern Builder is also a no-code solution. Mm -hmm. So I have those options to, you know, build those apps out with very little expertise, you know, in, in coding our software. Uh, when I go to edit that application, it's it's going to look a little bit different than the form we saw at the end result. But I would imagine that pretty much anyone's going to be able to pick it up, you know, add questions, gather information, display information, mm -hmm. so that they can then bring that to either their internal staff or even their clients. So you'll see, of course, all that information that we captured uh, is right there in, in first name and, and we're capturing variables of all of this. So when you put it, input your first name, last name, social security number, that's tied to a variable. And those variables are really the, the key piece of the automation. Mm -hmm. So it's easy for me to not only build this, but at any point, I can pause this activation. Uh, I realize that we now need to capture something that historically I haven't with this app. Mm -hmm. uh, these are editable. These can be living and breathing. So as your practice changes, you can simply update those forms and not have to start from scratch every time. Mm -hmm. And then the template builder, of course, uh, we see those documents that we generated, uh, that employment offer and that PIAA are both there as Word templates. And after pattern does also have the ability to plug into PDFs. So flexibility in how you produce those documents. And then we'll see here on the back end, all that info that we have, that client that we pulled from, you know, the first and last name, the salary, the stock options provision that we didn't see are mm -hmm. all within the document as variables. Mm -hmm. And so just to kind of uh, reiterate or, or potentially even dumb this down a little bit for me, um, we the initial part of building that form that, that you had is where we're creating the place to get basically input these variables. And then that templates area is where we have this template file that mm -hmm. then has these sections where these variables, when it gets built, get brought into. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So the, the template is Obviously, that end result, mm -hmm. uh, you could take that document you already have existing, plug it right in. I see people with highlighted sections that they're manually changing or underlines. Uh, no more of that. You replace that with the variable, mm -hmm. and then it's going to plug that in based on the information you deemed is necessary for the user to gather. Okay. So I just kind of looking at this right now, I could grab my templates you know, that I have that I do a you know search and replace or something like that. 
upload it into here. And then over here on the right hand side, this variable e editor, I'm able to insert the variables right over that high, like you're saying, that highlighted area that I would have done the search and replace on. Correct. And you can do this in the Pattern Builder editor. Mm -hmm. And Pattern Builder also offers a Word add in. So if you already have that in Word, you can link that to an existing app and plug those variables in right there in Microsoft Word 365. Okay. And so on the, the right hand column, let's say of the, the of my Word document, I would, because I'm connected to a particular app, which tells me the variables that I have that I can use, I'd be able to grab the variables from that app and bring them right into that document. Okay. All right. So now that we have all that information, you know, we have that application, uh, we saw what I can do as an internal member of the firm. I can go to any of these applications and elect to run them. And with net documents, there are access controls throughout the system. You're going to see the same in pattern builder. You're going to be able to decide who has the abilities to build apps and also who has the abilities to run apps. So if, if there are sensitive information that's going to be captured, we can always ensure that only the right parties are able to do so. But I can also take this and make this client facing mm -hmm. instead. If I don't need to bring on a new employee, I'm going to have somebody fill out you know, a retainer for me to sign. Mm -hmm. I have the option here to you know, share this app externally. So I can, of course, for Net Documents users, copy a link, email a link, but I can also do a secured link. Uh, so I could take this, put it onto my website, you know, with a simple copy of that link and open this up to external parties. So for example, if I do need someone to fill out this retainer agreement, uh, we'll pull this up. So now I can run this as a client. I have the option to fill this out, select the attorney I'll be working with. And then as the net documents admin, I'm able to decide, do we simply take these save a copy of the net documents for my record? Mm -hmm. Do I want my client to have the option to download it or both? So you have a lot of flexibility with that end result mm -hmm. on presenting those documents to an external party and decide whether or not they are allowed to have them. I can see this even from a, a different standpoint of, um, you know, productizing some of what I do as a lawyer and being able to say, okay, well, I, I work for, you know, I, I do uh, commercial contracts for this company all, all the time. And instead of having them come into my office and me making the contract, I can, I can create the app, make it client facing and allow them to create their own contracts or allow them to create their own employment agreements or, or things like that pretty easily. And it still yeah. sends the information into my system. So I, I still have the, the documents internally in my net document system. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, give somebody else the work, so to say, mm -hmm. uh, and reap the benefits of having them in your system without having to receive them from an email, go back and forth that way, let them fill out the form you've created. And then you have that document ready to go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Perfect. A couple other things that we'll see here. We'll scroll through a bit of this. Uh, you know, we focused on gathering information, things like that. Uh, we also have options here, flexible fields. And then we also have things to you know, capture signatures, display information. Um, so when I'm filling this out, uh, my legal name there, of course, mm -hmm. I can sign that. And again, insert that directly into the document. Uh, and this is great because I'll do this as the lawyer. When I send this to my client, uh, I have that option to open this up in Net Documents and send it directly via DocuSign. So, however, you typically bring these documents to your clients, uh, you, know, you have that option to send directly via DocuSign mm -hmm. with Net Documents as well. I think that's a that's an important um, thing here is that that this you know, pattern builders after pattern, a lot of after pattern inside of net documents. And so you create that document, you use the conditional formatting to, to, um, you know, go through, get the variables, and then you build that document. And it's a, it's a, um, um, engagement letter and I get it built. It then cranks right into my, like you're saying, right into my system here. And I use the other elements of net documents to deliver this contract. Like I normally would to get them to sign it, but I was able to create it 100% in, 
inside of the net documents universe. Absolutely. All right, Jake. Um, thank you for, for showing me around, um, pattern builder and, and it's going to take me a minute to not say after pattern. Um, but, but I, I appreciate you showing You're me. You're not around. alone in that one. <laughs> it is, it is, um, it's very familiar. And frankly, that is, that's nice. I, I was hoping that it would be very familiar because I'm a, I'm a big fan of after pattern and, and seeing all, a lot of the components get worked into to this. I, I, I appreciate it personally, you know, as somebody who likes to use, um, you know, after pattern and whatnot. Um, if people want to learn more, uh, they can go to netdocuments.com forward slash products forward slash pattern builder. They can get demos and, and, learn a lot more about the product there. Uh, um, anything else they can, they can look into Jake. That is a great place to start. There's a lot of resources for pattern builder as well as all the other net documents products as well. Sounds good. And, uh, there's a press release that we're going to put into the video notes here, um, below it's a little bit too long of a tale for me to, for me to say and make sense, but we'll have it at the, the video below or in the accompanying article here, Jake, once again, I, I really appreciate you being with us and, and showing me around what net documents has, has been able to accomplish with after pattern as pattern builder. Yeah. Thank you, Zach, for having me. Uh, and we're happy to come back anytime. Absolutely. Absolutely. Happy to have you. All right. Thank you.